Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap has got the normal mixture, plenty of machining, a little bit of welding and some plasma cutting. In part one, I do an aluminium stove for a modified work cycle fuel tank. And in part two, I repair a, one of my favourite jobs, I repair a casting of a little vintage traction engine. There's a few more names come in for the draw. Don't forget it's a free monthly draw. If you haven't had that, all you want to do is send me an email with your name, like John Mills, your full name. That's my email up there. Yeah. Name goes into here. If it's drawn out, you win the prize. If it's not drawn out, it stays in the bucket until it's drawn out, or I'm not doing this anymore. I've got a friend who makes customised parts for motorbikes. More quads than motorbikes. And what he wants to do is make a customised fuel tank to replace this one. And what he wants me to do is make him a stove out of aluminium that he can weld into a tank. This is obviously plastic. It's that's a square form thread on there. And it's a nice aluminium fuel filler cap which is piss wobbly slack on the threads. But it does go down and tighten up onto a nice rubber seal. Well, the threads in there are actually a V form thread. I've measured the pitch as near as I can and it looks like 6mm. So what I'll do, I'll make a V-form thread with that to screw on to and then it'll go into the fuel tank with a flange on and be welded on from around the inside so you can't see it. I've got a nice piece of aluminium I can make it out of. Do some measurements so you can see it. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a 6mm thread and I've got a tool there that tool there will cut the, the V-form thread, no problem at all. Need to measure the big diameter or the, or the outer diameter of the thread. That would be the size of bar we start off with. You can see I've got loads of tolerance on it. I'm getting 55.36, so I'll make it 55 mil. Forty-seven, so it's a really deep thread. Five and a half, five and a half mil aside. This is the only piece of aluminium bar I've got big enough, and I'm just going to get it out of there. 55, so I'll make that round. Some threads on it, and it'll screw into there quite, quite merrily. You see the threads on there are really slack. I can definitely improve on that. That gives us 55 mil dead, which will be enough to get that thread. The original thread is only 53 and that's piss wobbly, so that'll be, that'll be good on there. Maybe the depth of the thread or the, the length of the thread. So 23 mil of thread. From there, then we need to go down 10 mil, 5 mil per side.
Uh, basically, you know, to put some threads on there, I'll put in a shampoo on each side before we start. This is the standard setup for nearly all the metric pitches. We've got a 25, running 100, driving an 80. To cut the 6 mil pitch, I need a 50 on there, an 80, and an 80. I did wonder why the lathe come with two 80 change wheels, and now I know why. So we'll change these two gears, set it up, and then hopefully we can cut some threads. Quite noisy, that's straight cut gears, it's not a problem, a little bit of noise they make. I normally use my big chain oil on these. Put a little bit of oil in there once it's these ones already apart. Right, this is the screw cutting gearbox. And what we've just done is put those three gears in a 50, 80, 80. They are normal 2580. And I need these three gears in to cut that top line of threads, which ranges from 4 mil pitch up to 7. So we've decided we're going to try for 6. So we'll move that tumbler there along to 6. That one goes like that. And there's arrows here which show which way the levers point. So that one points forward. In fact, all three point forward. No, they don't. Those two point back, and this one here points forward, back, back, forward, and that's going to give us a six mil pitch. I was going to make it do this in plastic first just to make sure everything was right, all the settings were right, but unfortunately, see, unfortunately, I haven't any plastic big enough. Right, so we've got a 50 driving a 60, sorry, a 50 driving a 60 into an 80. That tumbler is on 6. Both those are backwards, and this one is forward. I'm going to cut this thread using the compound slide to put the feed on with. So I've set the compound slide to 29 degrees, which is half the metric 60, well it's not but you do use 29 degrees so we'll put the thread, the feed on with that it only cuts on the front of the tool because it's a very very deep thread and if we cut on both sides of the tool it tends to dig in and snag and bite and do nasty things next thing we need to do set centre height and set the tool to be at 90 degrees to the job, we'll do that first this is the tool we use for setting the tool up with. Call the fish's tail because it's got a looks like a fish's tail, I suppose. Right, so that goes into there, touching on both sides of that, and that's touching, so that's, that's good to go. Right, next, get the tool on centre height. A quick and accurate way to do it. Is to use a steel ruler or whatever you want. You push the tool in like that, that should be straight up and down when it's on centre height, which it is. So we know that the, the tool's on centre height, it's square to the job, 
It's basic right to start cutting threads. This is just a short thread. So all I'm gonna do is reverse the lathe. I'm not gonna disengage the, the feed screw because I don't quite know what, what will happen on a six mil pitch thread. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of colour on here, then we'll do a little scratch cut just to make sure that it's actually cutting cutting six mil. This is going to be pretty rapid, but I'm going to slow the, the layer down one gear, I think. That's better. That's pretty fine, that thing's not even touching. Right, so let's have a look, see what we've got. Six mil. Now I did engage the peach grow on 120. So what I'm going to do is disengage it. Run it in again at 120 and see if it will pick the thread up. A little gear. Right, so we wind that in. And it's picking the thread up perfectly so we can safely screw cut it and disengage the feeding up which makes it easier and saves you reversing the lathe. We wind it out, take it back, put some feed on the compound slide and basically it's ready to go again. Fairly near now. Oh yes, John likes that. That's the part I've made. It's got a shoulder on there, so it'll go through the tank onto that shoulder, and it can neatly weld on the inside. Kind of replicates that. So that's the, the piss wobbly slack thread, and that's the thread I've done, which is slack but not piss wobbly. Very happy with that. I really enjoy doing it. Um, what more can I say? I will get Lee to have a, some photographs when he does build a tank in just short and all his glory, but that is a nice 6mm pitch thread. <laughs> 